What is going on you guys? Welcome back to another TCGO video. My name is Oscar and we are here with Raichu Bats again. I love this deck a lot. I've been playing it a lot recently. I'm sorry if you're getting bored of it, but um, this video is a little different. This is going to show you what happens against Bunnelby. <laughs> That's right, Bunnelby, that dumb deck with Rototillier right now that um, tries to get you to deck out. Uh, pretty ridiculous. It runs a lot of disruption cards and stuff like that. And I ran against one online. And interestingly enough, this is going to show you what happens when you run out of energy. <laughs> I think I got pretty lucky, but um, this this is still a pretty fun game anyway. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, we're going to start off with Zubat. And I'm going to drop Mr. Mime as well. I didn't know what I was facing yet. So we see a Ninkata. And we start off with our opponent starts off with a trick shovel. Gets rid of a Raichu, which is pretty unfortunate. But we run Sacred Ash anyway, so it's not too bad. Uh, Zubat, really good starter, free retreat, so um, I'm happy to start with that. And we see a red card right off the bat by our opponent into a pretty awful hand. <laughs> uh, and we get Lysander out as well. This is pretty ugly, but we get the end, so that's pretty nice. Uh, I. Th Think about azing that Mr. Mime, but it's really not worth it just yet. So we're gonna put down another Zubat, and we I think about Ultra Balling, but I don't think it's the best thing here. There's a lot of good stuff in my hand, and I don't really want to get rid of any of it. So uh, I'm just gonna drop the Shaman for two. So we get another Zubat, which is pretty nice. We get that Trainer's Mail for an N, so we don't have to use that VS Seeker next turn. So. We can get rid of the VS Seeker, and we can get rid of a Golbat for now. There's enough in the deck that um, we'll be okay. And I, th I think I want to get another Shaman here. Try to try to get into a Pikachu if possible. And <laughs> that's just awful. Three DCE. So we don't get the D we don't get what we were looking for. But um, yeah, we're just we should probably just end the turn. But I attach and retreat, which. Eh, would only really have been worth it if I could attack. Um, but I just think that's the best thing I can do right there. So we see the Ninjask. Uh, the Ninjask that uh, gets rid of the top card of my opponent's deck. Of my deck. <laughs> and we see the two Bundle B come down. This is where I, I immediately notice, oh jeez, this guy's going to try to get me to deck out. So I thought we were going against like Shedinja or something for a second, but nope. This is the deck that makes you deck out. And that is unfortunate. So we see Bunnel B come up. He's going to use his little Rototillier attack, and we, he gets rid of a DCE and a Sycamore. So right off the bat, we're down two DCE. The deck only runs four, so I'm kind of freaking out already. Um, use the N right there. We can immediately Sacred Ash, um, but I don't really know if it's worth it just yet. Um, just because there's only two Pokemon in the deck, so I think the best thing to do here is apply a little bit of pressure, get a little Sky Return going. Bam, 30. And then we're going to put up a, a Zubat. This deck isn't ever going to knock me out or anything like that. It's just going to try to keep up a constant stream to make us deck out. And he's going to use the Trick Shovel and get sort of a Sycamore. So just like that, I have two Sycamore gone, two N gone. Yeah, he's he's doing some work. See a switch into the ninjask to get rid of another card. The ninjask of course has the uh, the free retreat, so he can get rid of something, and then get back into a bundle B. He's gonna once again do the Lysander tactic on the Mr. Mime. This is where it gets quite tricky to know what to do. Um, he's getting rid of so much stuff, and. I really don't want to use, you know, another DCE to retreat. So this is pretty tricky. So we're gonna attack. Uh, we're gonna put down Golbat and use the Seeker Bite, Sneaky Bite on uh, on the Bundle be on the bench with damage. I think about attaching here, but it's just kind of hard to choose what to do. So I attach to Shaman. And I'm trying to get rid of as much stuff as I can just to uh, to get a bigger Shaman drop, but I'm only going to get one. And I do get the AZ, which is pretty sweet. Get that Mr. Mime up. 
and I can attack with uh, Sky Return here. So I think that went about as well as I think it could have. Uh, Mr. Mime is no longer going to be a problem. I, I don't need to put him down again. Um, he's really just a nuisance against this kind of deck because they're just going to keep Lysandering something out. Luckily, most of my Pokemon on here are either Free Retreat or really low, like Shaman, but I want to attack with Shaman anyway, so we're sitting in a pretty good spot. Our opponent is pretty much clawing through our deck. I think we're down to, what is that, 15 or 16 cards left? I can't really see from here. Um, but I'm struggling with just this one DC. <laughs> uh, and he gets rid of a Muscle Band and a Chorus. So we run into our first Pikachu, which is pretty good. And I'm going to attach the DCE. I, I think I'm going to do it on Golbat. No. I think I should. Yeah, we undo it. Put it on the Golbat. His attack does 10 across the board. Which could help speed up this process of, of getting rid of some of these Pokemon. And so I'm just going to sneak. I'm just going to use the attack. And gets rid of one of the Bunnelby, which is pretty good. So trying to put some pressure on. Um, we do need to kind of hurry up here because he has plowed through a lot of our deck. And, um, oh, no, there goes, there goes our DCE. So three of them are in the discard. We got one left in the deck. We kind of desperately need it. <laughs> so I'm just checking through my discard again. I'm going to Ultra Ball here, the two Pokemon I don't need. I'm going to grab myself, uh... Another gold bat, put down a bit more damage. And right there, I'm going to put it right on the Bunnelby. Get rid of him. Drop down to Zubat. And I'm going to. Super Scoop Up doesn't work. We can do the Shaman for two. Bam, get a Raichu. So we are sitting really, really good right now. Uh, we don't really want a Sycamore here. Because um, there's not really much my opponent can do. He does get rid of a Crobat, which is a little unfortunate. And then we get another Pikachu. So we're going to Sycamore here. We're going to put a Crobat, some Crobat damage on that Ninjask. Put a Golbat down. And this is all pretty much without energy as of right now. <laughs> um, the best thing I can really do right now is just rack up that, that Golbat Zubat damage. And I'm going to grab the AZ for next turn so I can put, grab that Crobat one more time and then get the knockout with that damage. I think my opponent realizes what's going on here, and uh, he realizes he can't win anymore, so he gives up. So that's pretty cool. That 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 just shows you how strong these bats are. You can you can win games without any any energy right now. Like I said, that was a little bit lucky. He didn't have too many Pokemon, but Golbat using that uh, swoop through or whatever sweep across attack and uh, lots of bat damage helping us get the victory there so I really enjoyed this game uh, it had me on the ropes hope you guys enjoyed it too and uh, look we got a free Excel Gore line love this new versus points system by the way on TCGO hope you guys enjoyed uh, check out my other videos and make sure to subscribe before you go and thank you guys for watching take care